If you're in the market for a blower, then you're gonna wanna stick around for this one as I'm gonna go over everything from a handheld to a backpack, from a gas to a battery or electric and everything in between. What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. So let's go ahead and jump right on in and talk about our good old trusty gas powered blowers. Now to my right here, I've got a steel BG50, which will be our example for a handheld blower. And then to the left here, I've got a steel BR600, which is gonna be our example of a backpack blower. Now, like I said, both of these are going to be in the gas lineup. So whenever we're looking at such things in the gas lineup, we do know that we have the these two different options. Now, within the handheld option, let's talk about a few things here. Let's talk about weight and fuel capacity, and we're going to be using this BG50 as an example. So here on the BG50, first thing we're talking about weight, we're looking at this is the smallest unit in the steel lineup, and so we're going to start at 7.9 pounds. Now, the good thing about the handheld units is they are very versatile. They're very quick, easy to grab, easy to use. They're still going to have that fuel mixture, so you're gonna get plenty of runtime out of them. But this is what we're normally going to see whenever we're thinking about a gas blower. These are gonna be great for homeowners, for those types of people that are gonna need these quick, maybe right after mowing, maybe we have a few leaves we need to be blown into a pile or get moved, get clean that driveway out, clean off that patio, things like that these gas powered blowers are going to be great. They're also gonna be lightweight and generally easy to use. Now, whenever we're talking about the backpack blowers over here on the BR600, now this is kind of in the middle of the range of the backpack blowers, more towards the higher end than the lower in the steel backpack blowers with the BR600. Now, the highest you can go in the steel lineup is going to be a BR800. So whenever we're talking about weight in these, now we're talking about getting up into that 20 pound to 26 pounds at the heaviest on the BR800. So we're getting quite a bit of weight difference here, but you have to remember that with the backpack blower, obviously you're going to be wearing it rather than holding it like we are on the handheld blower. Now, another big difference between these two styles of blowers in the gas powered series is going to be fuel capacity. Now, this may not be a big thing to you. It depends on the amount of use that you're going to use it, where you're gonna be using it, and how you're going to be using it. But once again, using the BG50 for an example here, we're looking at about 14 and a half ounces of fuel here. Whereas if we move to the BR600, we're looking at about 47 and a half ounces of fuel here. So when we're talking about these two different blowers, obviously this one is going to use more fuel being as that it is larger, but you're also gonna have a lot more, almost three times as much fuel capacity as you have here on this BG50. So if you've got a lot of work to do, if you're that commercial guy, maybe you're that large homeowner, that rancher, then the backpack blower may be the way to go. That way you've got that extra fuel capacity, you've got that extra runtime, you're able to wear that, move around the property and get those things done. Now, another big thing here that we need to think about whenever we're looking at these blowers is we need to think about the amount of air volume. Now, this may seem like something that, you know, you're not going to think about. You know, it, how much air is it really going to put out? We're thinking a lot of times when we go in to buy one of these blowers, hey, I just need a blower to blow some stuff off. But what happens oftentimes is that someone gets a blower and they're dissatisfied with the amount of air that it puts out because it's not able to move that pile of leaves as easy as I'd like it to. So the amount of air that comes out of the machine, which is measured at CFMs, is something that you should definitely think about if you are in the market for the blower. So for example, here on the BG50, we're looking at 412 CFMs that comes out. Now that sounds like a lot, but remember that this is the smallest gas powered unit. So if we're looking up into the largest backpack powered unit, which like I said, is that BR800, now we're looking at 912 CFMs. So as you can tell, that is over double of what this one's able to put out, which you would expect being such a larger unit, but you're talking about a lot more air coming out. You're talking about being able to move more debris, moving things faster. The more air we can put out, the faster we can get things done. Also going back to when we're talking about fuel capacity, the more fuel that we can have in these machines, the faster we can get those jobs done. And also going back to whether that be a handheld or backpack, 
just remember that if we do if we do have a lot of blowing that we need to do, a lot of material that we need to move, then maybe the backpack is the way we need to think. Invest a little bit more money here as you're gonna be a lot more comfortable having this thing strapped to you on your back, able to blow those things off, rather than maybe holding a handheld unit around and doing this, trying to get that job done. Now, keep in mind here that I'm only using the smallest unit in one of the backpack units here and talking about that largest unit for the numbers wise, so that you see the wide range of numbers that are going to be within the different models in the blower lineup. Now within Steel's lineup, obviously we're gonna have more than one handheld and more than one backpack. And within those, as we get into those larger numbered units, we're going to have larger numbers than we have here from the smallest. And then also when we go up to the largest, we'll have those smaller numbers going down. So just know that there are multiple different sizes. There are multiple different blowers that can fit your application. We just need to be making sure that we're checking into these certain things whenever we are looking into these blowers and not just grabbing the first one that we see. Now, moving to our electric and battery powered options. As we know, battery powered options and electric options are becoming more and more popular. Now, within this lineup, I have three different examples here of battery powered units. So I have one that is going to be what's considered in the AK series. This is kind of the mid-level residential series. Then I have one that is going to be in the AP series, which is going to be a more professional grade unit. And then I also have one over here that is also in the AP series, which is the professional units, but it is going to be hooked up to a backpack battery. Now also within this lineup, there is going to be a even smaller unit that is going to use an internal battery, which is rechargeable, and I, which I can show an example of here. So this is going to be a unit that does recharge with the battery inside itself, whereas all of the units here on the table that you see do have an external battery that is going to be put in whenever you're using this. Now there are also gonna be corded options that you can get as well that are going to require you to have that extension cord run out to them. And sometimes that works great for people that have small areas to blow. So just remember that that is an option as well. But whenever we're talking about these battery powered units, one thing that is absolutely amazing about these is the versatility of these units. Because whenever we're looking at these different battery options that you see here on the table, since they all have removable batteries, not only can these batteries be used for these units, but they can also be used for other units that are going to be within the series. So let's say for instance, that we had this VGA 57 with this AK-20 battery, anything that's in that AK series, which there are gonna be weed eaters, there are gonna be chainsaws, there are gonna be blowers, obviously. Any of those things can use these batteries and the same goes for these two options as well. If we have an AP style battery or we have the backpack powered battery, you have the option of running different equipment. When we move into the AP series, now we're also talking chainsaws, pole saws, hedge trimmers, we're talking lawn equipment as far as lawn mowers that run off of these batteries. So very, very versatile equipment whenever we're looking into this battery segment. But the other thing too to consider is these are still great options. These are going to have good run time for what you're doing, depending on which one you pick. So whenever we're looking here at the BGA 57, like I said, this is a mid-residential. You're going to be looking at a blowing force of 365 CFM. So it's going to be less than what the smallest gas powered unit is but maybe you don't need all that extra force. Now we're also talking about with the AK-20 battery, which is the mid-level battery for this series, we're looking at about 20 to 25 minutes of runtime. Now here on the BGA-86, moving into that professional grade series, this is gonna be a larger blower. Now we're looking at putting out about 553 CFMs. So now we are getting up higher than that gas powered unit, but not as high as we're looking at in the backpack blower series. But once again, there we're looking at about 20 to 25 minutes of runtime. So these are things that we need to consider. How long are we gonna be using this? Where are we gonna be at? Is battery right for me as far as just these batteries go? And then whenever we move up to our backpack series here with the AR3000L like I have here and this BGA200, now we're getting more into that professional grade. Now we're looking at in these 600s on the CFMs, the amount of air output. We're also talking about a ton of runtime here with this battery. 
with Steel advertising this up to 500 minutes of runtime with this blower on this battery. So lots and lots of runtime here on these units. We're also going to be talking quite a bit lighter on these units. For instance, we start over here at seven pounds with this unit. We are about seven pounds also on this larger unit, but then jumping up into that 25 pound range with the battery here. And then in the middle one here on the BJ86, we're right there around that 10 pound range once we get that battery in. So all of these are going to be great options. Also, things to consider, you're going to have these battery and electric options across different brands as well. Now, of course, with me being um, a John Deere dealership, I am a steel dealer as well. So that's why I use steel here in the example. But just keep in mind that you're going to have these options no matter which way we're looking, which brand we're looking at, you can check these things out and make sure to think about all of these things whenever you're making that decision for your blower. I myself personally are a huge fan of the backpack style of blowers, whether we are talking battery or gas powered, they are just nice to be able to get that weight off of your arm and be able to have that resting on your back. I have right here is gonna be some footage of me actually using this BGA 200 in a barn doing a clean out and it was great. Very easy to use. I was comfortable the whole time using it. I couldn't imagine if I was using one of the handheld blowers as well, but I do have some footage here of using one of these handheld battery powered blowers as well. Now this was not as much fun as it was using the backpack blower, but you can see here that we're still moving around plenty of debris even with one of these smaller units. So either way that you wanna go, depending on your situation, are going to be a great thing. Now, if we're moving back to the gas powered units, I've got some footage here of using that largest BR800. I'm showing here how to start it here. Now this one does have a side start on it, but not all of those backpack blowers are going to have a side start. Some of them you are going to have to take off to be able to start that machine and to stop it. So if that is going to be an issue for you, if you're going to be moving around from place to place, not wanting that thing running the whole time, just remember that with those gas powered backpack blowers that you may have to take it off and to put it back on every time you want to start or stop that machine. So also keep that in mind whenever you're making that decision between a handheld and a backpack. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, we just ask you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you need any John Deere parts for any of your John Deere equipment, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.